we have to clean our thoughts. Everybody has a problem in the world because of the thoughts. With your friend, you go home, husband, wife, husband say yes, wife says no. There's a problem because they don't go along because of the thoughts. So we have to clean the thoughts. Like we clean our clothes every day with detergent, same way we will meditate in the way we were doing, inhale why Guru, whichever religion you belong, every religion has a word, Ram, Allah, everybody has. You chant because he doesn't have any form. So it doesn't matter, you know. So you chant with that name and this way you clean your mind. It has to be clean with the chanting of the meditation. So when your mind is clean, when you have no thoughts, and you can expedite this cleaning only by going into the gathering of the holy people like this. Like we have a gathering of holy people today. Going to church, Mandar, Gurdwara, where they chant only one name. Like we were chanting right now, Vahiguru. We are chanting Ram Ram, chanting Allah. Whoever they were chanting, the one name. This way the mind gets cleaned. But when there is no thoughts, then we all think we are the same brothers, like we have one father. You know? mm -hmm. So we have to clean it. So this is the way. Long time ago people used to chant and clean the mind. And when there is no thoughts, then the bhakti goes very easy. Bhakti goes very easy when there is no thoughts. You are like just a fraction of seconds between you and the Lord when you have no thoughts. Then you, when you have no thoughts, you are sitting and chanting in, the, in front of the door of the Lord. And now he's, it's up to him when he wants to open the door. Because you already cleaned yourself, the mind. 